Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen Healthy Fine Dining Series. I'm your host, Nicole Gaffney, and we're here today with St. Luke's University Health Network, bringing together doctors and chefs to create healthy new menu options to be featured at their restaurants. Joining me in the kitchen today is Dr. Elizabeth Deerking, along with Chef Patrick Fury of Nectar. Hi. What are we making Thanks. today? Um, we're going to do a vegetarian risotto. Um, we're also going to do a little sauce for it as well, uh, ponzu, and then we're going to do some tempered uh, vegetables, some shiitakes and a Japanese uh, eggplant. Sounds great. You yeah. always bring the heat with your food, so let's get Thanks. started. All right. So we're going to start over here. Um, this is a pr pretty simple uh, process here. And okay. one thing I do like to do with um, risotto itself is I actually have a stock. Um, and we're going to make a vegetarian stock okay. right here. It's just going to be simple. It's just uh, carrots, onion, celery. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to hit this with a little bit of olive oil. And Doc, you are a vegetarian, so this mm -hmm. is very appropriate. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Great. We're going to do this. What do we have going on here? Were we in the hospital recently or no. just a bar? <laughs> no, it was, a, it was a show. Okay, I hope it was a good one. <laughs> yes. Must mm -hmm. be if you left it on. Yeah, it was fun. Good. It's up in New York. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was really fun. Okay, so, all right, so we got this um, stock working right, right now. Um, and that's just going, so we're going to use actually just straight water. Okay. Go ahead. Simple enough. Okay. And it's actually just going to. Now, sit any, there and get a little bit of flavor. Anytime yeah. you're making a risotto like this, do you always make the stock on the fly? Um, yeah, I mean, or, or in the restaurant I'll have it. Right. Ready to go, but stock on the fly is fine. So it goes it's to show how simple it is to yep, make that. exactly. So, so we're gonna a doctor could do it. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to start um, with the risotto itself. So, okay. Um, I do like a uh, little bit of uh, onion, shallots, and garlic. All right. Well, will you do that? I'm going to chat with yeah, the doctor sure. a little bit. So tell me what type of medicine you practice at St. Luke's. So I'm in the field of obstetrics and gynecology, so mm -hmm. I prefer provide a full range of services. So I deliver babies, I do awesome. routine GYN care, and I actually am also the residency program director, so I'm supervising the education of our uh, current residents as they sort of embark on their training to become um, fully certified OBGYNs. That's awesome. What's your favorite thing that you get to do on a daily basis? Um, so I, I'm actually a sucker for a good delivery. Um, <laughs> so I'm definitely, you know, a lot of people have um, a part of the field that they sort of went into it more for. Sure. Some people are more GYN people, some people are more OB people. I am definitely more of an OB person. Aww. Good to have an enthusiastic <laughs> person delivering your baby. Sure. I try to be a good cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> so All right, we so got have a little bit of onions, a little shallots, a little garlic. Okay. So a nice little flavor base to start mm -hmm. the risotto. Exactly. So that's fun there. So um, next thing we do is once we get those a little bit um, just a little bit transparent mm -hmm. and put in white wine and then we'll work in with the risotto itself. All right, great. Mm -hmm. We're going to um, simultaneously um, work on our vegetables, our next our next garnish for the... All right, okay. considering so this, this is, is a vegetarian dish, we got to have some vegetables a little veggies. in there for sure. <laughs> yep. Now, do you like to cook at home? So actually, uh, my husband does most of the cooking, mm -hmm. which is not to say that I'm averse to doing it, but he is, I think, a far more talented cook, so I sort of <laughs> stand back and let him do most there of the work. There you go. You know, if he's better it at fun. it, then why intervene? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually, uh, cooking's like therapeutic. Yeah, I think so. a little so. bit of white wine there. Okay. I like helping him, but I like, you know, <laughs> letting him take the fall if something right. goes wrong. There you go. There you go. What's right. your favorite thing mm -hmm. that he makes? Um, we've actually been trying a bunch of um, new, like, kind of ethnic foods. Um, cool. We're doing one of the meal delivery services, Gobble. Nice. And so we've been doing some, like, Asian. Um, last night we had a Korean dish. So, yeah, we're kind of experimenting with a bunch of different oh, things. Trying to get our kids to be more adventurous eaters. Always. We'll return with more from The Chef's Kitchen. We now return to The Chef's Kitchen. So one thing about risotto is that right now we have the white wine that's coming to a simmer. Then we're going to put our stock in there. And actually, what I like to do with it, and this is a good thing you can do actually even the day before or earlier, and this way you can get the meal together right at the very end, is just get get the uh, rice in there with the, with all the uh, garlic, shallots, and onions. I'm going to put the stock in there, bring it up to a boil, and then you can actually just cover it, put it off to the side. Mm -hmm. About 20 minutes later, you can come back and just finish it out. Okay. So it's kind Simple of a, enough. Yeah. He makes it sound so easy, doesn't he? Yeah. Right. <laughs> 
So we got now, that. Now, you work with a lot of high-risk pregnancies. What does that mean? What does that entail? Um, well, so the truth is that there are a variety of different things that can mm. qualify someone as high risk. Um, you know, sometimes it's pre-existing medical conditions that they have okay. prior to the pregnancy. Other times it's something that comes up specific to the pregnancy mm. itself. Um, so, and, and it's really just about trying to make sure that we're coordinating their care with the other physicians. We're really lucky at St. Luke's to have specialists in just about any area you yeah. could want that we know we work with all the time. And so it provides a really nice atmosphere, I think, for the patients to know that their doctors are in good communication and they're constantly working together and they're used to working together. Well, so. That's such a huge benefit of being part of the St. Luke's University Health Network. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is um, we're actually going to work on our vegetables here. Okay. What I have here is actually um, <clears throat> what I like to use for a tempura batter is actually cake flour specifically. Oh, nice. Okay? Why is that? Because it's just a little bit finer mm -hmm. and, and uh, just slightly less gluten in there as well. So baking powder, olive oil, and then we're going to have um, here. Cake flour. Okay. And you can sift it as well, make it make it That'll a lot finer. That'll also make it lighter. Yeah, exactly. Baking powder. Mm -hmm, okay. And then we have a little. Uh, I like to actually put a little bit of sugar and a little bit of salt, both in there. What was this one? Sugar. A little bit. Just, little just sugar. a little okay. tiny bit. Mm -hmm. What does the sugar do in there? Just for flavor. Okay. Purely, you know, just give it a little bit. Takes away any of the bitterness as well on vegetables. Here, so we mm. got. I have that, to remember and then that we one have. Yeah, exactly. I think me. if you fry a vegetable, mm -hmm. it yeah, it yeah. makes it a little easier to go down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a shiitake mushroom. It is shiitake, um, and we have. Uh, yeah, these are nice. These are actually from Kennett Square. They're really nice and thick. They're fun to. You like to make all the vegetables when you're uh, cooking, especially with uh, the same temp, same time. Mm -hmm. and if you want them to be come. Uh, actually finish um, within the time limit of each one. Just cut them the exact same thickness. That'll and this is a Japanese eggplant you're using? This is Japanese, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you find that it, it works better for this particular recipe or can you use I any like them type of better. Eggplant? There's a, a little less seeds in them mm, as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're less bitter. Less bitterness. Yeah, they're fun that way. So we've got our oil working. Okay. Let's check it out over here. How this is doing. So you really don't need to sit there and constantly stir risotto no. like, you mm -mm. know, Gordon Ramsay. Which Not at all. <laughs> no, no, no. No, exactly. Exactly, yeah. That's good. Just I don't know that I can handle that much stress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Now, do you consult your patients at all on diet and what they should be eating for a healthy pregnancy? Absolutely. We talk to our patients about healthy weight gain and sort mm -hmm. of at the beginning of their pregnancy, what kinds of things they need to do to have a balanced diet. Sure. I think it sounds far more intimidating when you first find Definitely. out that you have to follow the special diet for your pregnancy. And most of them realize that it's really minor changes and just being a little bit cognizant of portion size, for example, okay. that they can still have carbs. They just have to watch how much right. of it they have. Right. Um, but otherwise, you know, we're talking about the fact that they just need to eat a balanced diet mm -hmm. and everything in moderation. So they're not um, eating for two necessarily. No. No, <laughs> as yes. myth once Yes, <laughs> that is in fact a myth. Okay, good to know. <laughs> so okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually leave these for the very last second because we want to cook those as we put the risotto on the plate itself. Okay. And then our fun um, sauce for today is a ponzu sauce. Well, we love a fun sauce here on the chef's right, kitchen. Right, exactly. So okay, so we have. I like to use a uh, low salt soy sauce. Mm -hmm. I just think it, it has better flavor. Mm -hmm. Just that's mm. my opinion on it. Uh, mirin. Mm -hmm. This is a kombu. It's a actual um, seaweed. Mm. Yeah, but it's a really fun one. It's you. It's this would be the um, seaweed would be used for um, sushi. Um, the actual mirin um, vinegar and usually use it like a Meyer lemon or a yuzu, and you make that, and that's actually the what you would use to flavor the rice with. So right now we have our soy sauce. We have our mirin. We have. Um, and you, you can use like yuzu in this, you can use... Uh, yuzu is very hard to find though. It is, it is. but here. Meyer lemons are great. Meyer lemons are like almost sweet, like yeah. an orange. Yeah. And they have like actually... They smell. I love Meyer lemons. And I have to say, we've, we've done quite mm, a few yeah. shows on the Chef's Kitchen together yeah. and you cook with Meyer lemons a lot, yeah. which I love. And then also, these are shisho leaves or also um, in Japanese? Shiso leaves you said? Shiso, yeah. Or also known as oba hmm. in Japanese. Okay. Shisho's... Japanese term, but we use it mostly in English. So this is, and the flavor of this is like so cool. It's a, uh, like, like part cilantro, coriander, hmm. and uh, parsley. 
And I know uh, some people don't like love. Uh, Oh, it's Sancho. like cumin almost. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Interesting. You, you can, uh, hmm. They're fun. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> One to eat. All right, so we're going to let that marinate there. We'll return with more from the Chef's Kitchen. We now return to the Chef's Kitchen. So this dish is going to be dish. featured on the menu at Nectar or at your new restaurant? Um, actually, it's going to be, this is actually more like Nectar, but it, it could be on, um, it actually, I'm going to put this one yeah. on, because um, this hasn't been on Nectar yet. Okay. So I think we'll do it in the new restaurant, which nice. is called The Common. Mm -hmm. Downtown. Feel free to tell us a little Thank bit more you. about that as you wish. Mm -hmm. So The Common is actually um, more of a, kind of an American style. In the past, I've always had mm -hmm. more Asian, um, exactly. Asian style restaurants. So it's going to definitely have more Mediterranean flavors to it. And also, but you know, that being said, uh, Mediterranean flavors and all that, uh, I'm still going to use the ingredients that I like the best. Mm -hmm. So for example, you know, a Japanese eggplant, I may like better than a, you know, a Italian Mediterranean eggplant. Italian yeah. Right. So just How do you know the oil's ready? Kind of as you look at it, you can see it actually do kind of waves in the oil yeah. itself. And that, you'll know that way. Okay. That. And do you want a, a hotter oil for doing tempura? Because it cooks I like so it. quickly? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It fries up so nice and light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, like, a little bit of color on there. Let's do three. Can't do anything in even, even numbers. numbers. <laughs> yeah. oh, that would be weird. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's always funny to know people's little uh, quirks and traditions. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. right. Do you have any um, any of your own I like in the medical world? Better. Okay. <laughs> twins. <laughs> right? Twins match, over match triplets. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely twins over triplets. <laughs> All right, get our mushrooms. Uh, in general, you'll find that obstetricians are a superstitious bunch. Yeah, I would think. Mm -hmm. We don't like you to say it's quiet on the labor floor <laughs> because then it will not be. Right. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, yeah we... Careful what you wish for. Exactly. Right? Yeah. yeah. Now, would you use any other vegetables in place of Absolutely. the eggplants and mushrooms? Yeah, of here? course. You can use uh, whatever you like. I mean, asparagus is really nice. Yeah. You know, that's that's mm. that's one of the they get, they get really sweet. Mm -hmm. um, and again, you know, like during the cold uh, months of the year. Um, even you could just do herbs too. You could take oh, wow. parsley, even the seashell leaf. We can fry one of those up. Oh, that's cool. That works. Would never think to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these are good. Awesome. So those really fry up quickly. I mean, yeah. that took less than a minute for mm -hmm. the eggplant, and the yeah. mushrooms took 10, 15 seconds, it <laughs> looks like. Exactly. So we're going to pop those back in there. We're going to finish out our risotto. Okay. Get our thing. How do you know when the risotto's done? Well, it's um, it's cooked all the way through right mm -hmm. now, and then we're just going to fold in, fold it together, and uh, add some cheese and make it nice and creamy and beautiful. Great. What did you just add there? A little bit more just stock. A little, little bit more wine, actually. More wine. Yeah. <laughs> finish that wine up. Then we're going to do a little Parmesan, and then mandatory butter. So and there's there's butter and there's butter. Yeah. And um, so I like an 83%. So if you're at the supermarket, you know, they also call it like a European style. Mm. That's, that's um, just to have more fat. Fancy butter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. If you're going to eat it, might as well eat it. Exactly. There's less moisture in it as well. It's a great way to think about it. Mm -hmm. so. Now, let's say I was uh, in medical school and about to become an OBGYN. What type of advice would you give me? So anytime that someone's considering a field in anything, I, I talk to them about the fact that they need to try and really find what they love. Yeah. I think sometimes you get advice to try and find the people that you're most like as you go through your rotations in med school, but the truth is you may be someone who's really easygoing and get along with a lot of people, mm -hmm. and, and then when you actually try to live the life of their day-to-day -day existence, you, you find out that it's not really what you're passionate sure. about. So I, I tell people to really think about not just what sounds like it might have more palatable hours or you know right. what might sound more exciting but really truly what what speaks to them for me I, I had no idea I was going to be an OBGYN before I did the rotation in medical school I actually would have told you probably it was the thing that I was fairly certain I wouldn't do really? um, and then I did the rotation and you know week one I was like okay I think this is what I'm doing for a that? living so yeah um, it, it really became um, a passion very quickly so I think that you have to find the thing that you love because the truth is that 
lifestyle is only one piece of it. You mm. could work not that many hours in life, but not love what you do and, and not really enjoy it and, and burn out quickly. Yeah. And I think in medicine, there is there are a lot of people who, from the stress of the job, from the you know, the different things like the electronic medical records, yeah. people start to get frustrated with some of the parts of the job. And so if you find something you love, then that makes all the little things very minor frustrations. Definitely a lot and, easier to swallow. Yeah. yeah. I think that's great advice, not just for the medical community, but for anyone who's going into a career. Yeah, it's something you're gonna do for a lot of years. You exactly. should love it. We'll return with more from The Chef's Kitchen. We now return to The Chef's Kitchen. So we have, um, the nori itself. So, so that's what our, seaweed, our uh, I'm sorry, our sushi is wrapped up in. Yes, exactly. And it's got a really, really cool flavor. Yeah. In risotto as well, it's really fun. Nice. Yeah. Never ever had nori in risotto before. Oh, it's But sick. I like where you're going with it. Mm -hmm. It's sort of the same concept as sushi with oh, the rice yeah, and all exactly. the different yeah. flavors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, we're gonna get, we're gonna kind of wrap everything up and then get it over there. Cool. But we're gonna like, I like to so you're gonna hit these again. These. Yeah, get them freshened up. Nice. And they kind of like what you would call, um, this is actually, when you're resting something, it's got a little carryover heat, it keeps going through. So it makes them nice and soft. And then we're gonna re-fry uh, them, almost like you would a French fry. So oh, we're cooking like, them through, yeah. let them sit, then go right back in, we're gonna get them nice and crispy. That's a great tip. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna be nice and crispy. That's nice and hot. Want me to grab the plate? Are we there? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> Mm. Perfect, right there. Beautiful. Thank you. See. A little bit. Juice. Loosen it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just a little water. Nice. So we're gonna put this right in the middle. It smells incredible. Mm. Then we're gonna go right here next. Take some of our ponzu. And then I'm gonna, um, here we go. So you don't strain anything out of there, you just leave no, it No, I like the uh, sheesh leaf in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the, you know, this, you, you can put this in your refrigerator and like let it sit and have it in there. It's a great sauce. Nice. So we have. Gotta keep it odd. Mm-hmm. Four. And one more. Perfect. Perfect. There we go. And then more of that she saw. Oh, I love it. Yeah. And then still get. Just fun. Crunchy. And these are really, really fun. These are, these are a little uh, smoky Benito flavor. Flakes? Yep. Cool. Yeah. So if you wanted them, you put them on the side. I'm not going to put them on right now. Okay. But it's a it's just a fun thing because they actually move and yeah, they right. dance. Yes, they do. They're really cool. They do. And joining us for the tasting, we have Rafe D'Amico with Ozymandias Wines, and he's going to pour something delicious for us and tell us about it. Thanks, Nicole. So uh, Chef made a very unique risotto for us, mm -hmm. and we have a, a very unique wine to pair with it. So this is a blend of three different varietals. It's a Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay, and Pinot Gris blend. Mm. It's mm. from the North Fork in Long Island, very unique soils there. It's a sandy loam soil. And the story behind the wine is also unique in and of itself, where as you see the artwork on the bottle, this is a, a student at the New York Academy of Art. Her name is Jay Miriam, and she actually was awarded the Ozymandias Wine Scholarship, uh, which is a scholarship for the, her second year. And this is her painting, uh, Mozzarella Spread, which uh, yeah. won the award. So um, we're going to see how it pairs with those shallots, onion, and garlic, that white wine reduction that Chef made for this dish. And I think it'll, it'll really bring out some of the flavors with the mushroom and the seaweed and that, that citrus flavor that you have in there. You're going to get some of those notes in the Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, and the Chardonnay is interesting because there's two different types of chard. Well, it's from the same estate but two different vintages. One is from uh, 2015, it was aged in oak hmm. for uh, 36 months, so that's three years in oak. It's lightly toasted oak, so you're not gonna get too heavy of those oak notes. 
And then there's uh, some Chardonnay that was aged in steel. So you'll get more of that Chablis mineral flavor. And then just a, a touch of Pinot Gris. The most prominent grape is a Sauvignon Blanc, so that'll probably come out front. Uh, but we'll let, we'll let you be the judge for yourselves. Well, cheers. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much. It's great. Mm -hmm. like a, it's beautiful. It's such yeah. an interesting wine. It's very unique. Thanks. It'll probably yep. taste even better with the risotto. Mm -hmm. I'll have to agree with you there. <laughs> so without further yeah. ado, yeah. why don't we dig in? Mm -hmm. Chef? It's almost like you get the pinot gris in the middle. You do. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Right yeah. in the middle. Yeah. And finish it out with the... Uh, yeah. it's, a, it's a nice roller coaster yeah. ride, cool. if you will. It's a beautiful All right. Wine. I'm just going to get right in here. Get in there. For the risotto. Mm -hmm. Chef? It tastes like sushi. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm. It really does. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's actually a dissembled sushi. Exactly. <laughs> Vegetable, yeah. I have to get one of these mm. tempered eggplant. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's delicious. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. I love the seaweed kick. Mm. The tempura is so yeah. crispy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. This is definitely a way to get my kids to eat more vegetables. There you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, Dissem dissembled um, um, tempura vegetable roll. Yeah. yeah, there you go. And with the wine, it's such a beautiful pairing. It goes so nicely together. Right. Yeah. Great. Right. Thank you Cheers. very much. Cheers. It was great having you all here again. Such a Cheers. pleasure. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Like always, um, you know, working with uh, Stephen Horn is amazing. But the show itself is like every time I do it, I actually learn something myself. So it's a great, it's a great experience. Oh, it was a lot of fun. It's a higher level cooking than uh, my husband does, no offense to him. So that was, it was fun to watch. To have some time with the incredible chefs, and then of course the amazing doctors from St. Luke's. It's just a really unique opportunity for Ozymandias Wines.